What's going on everybody? My name's Starlord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a fantastic day and today we're actually going to be playing this brand new game on Roblox which is called I think Superhero Training Simulator. It's actually came out of nowhere. It's actually really big right now. All of my friends are playing it and it actually looks pretty darn cool but most importantly I'm going to tell you how to level up the quickest way possible in this game very very quickly so that you can pretty much beat everybody at it. It's really cool, very easy to do and uh, yeah it seems like we're going to be coming back to Roblox videos on this channel. So many people have asked me to do this for such a long time now and I thought you know what we may as well do it. Uh, but other than that guys we're now at around about 330,000 subscribers so please if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please come subscribe and also remember to leave a like on this video. Do not forget to do that. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, I'm actually in Superhero Simulator right here. I've got a couple of my friends in here, Soup and everything. And uh, yeah, we are actually going to uh, show you guys how to maximize how much movement speed you gain. So as you can see, I've pretty much got like all of the superheroes in this like thing. Like I've got all of the superpowers. Like I'm so good. Like I, I don't know. I've leveled up so quickly compared to my friends. And uh, I actually found a way on how to glitch your superpowers really really quickly so uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is from this little dude right here this little kind of like what is he is he a fo he's a fox cat thing he's a fox superhero so yeah Sath. what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at Sath and go to the left hand side we're gonna fly all the way over to this other little kind of thing right here to the city port and you guys should probably know that inside the city port is actually i think it's like a little bit of a gym to be honest we can actually go inside to this gym area and we just go inside this room right here, like so. There you go. We can actually go down right here. And uh, it's actually pretty cool what I'm about to show you. So when you want to maximize how much jump you're getting, right? What we do is we go to this little kind of number four here at the bottom. We click it and we put our weight to 100 tons, right? And what we're going to do is, as you can see, we can't really jump anymore. But if we press control on our kind of uh, keypad, you will see that if we come over to underneath this kind of like... I guess it's a, a staircase, right? We can actually go and start jumping here. And as you can see, look how crazy I was getting all of those jump points right there. So let me just go underneath it and do it again. So there you go. Look how much points I'm getting. Look at all of that. It's so much. I'm actually getting 160 really quickly, constantly. That is insane. And also, as well as that, because I'm pressing forward doing this, I'm actually getting 160 movement speed whilst I'm actually doing it too. So, like, you know, it's actually giving me, like, the craziest amount of, like, look at that. Look how quick that's going. That's, like, so much jump right there. It's absolutely insane. I'm doing so much. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. So that is pretty much how you get like a load of jump, but I'm not only going to show you how to do that, I actually have a lot of ways on how to get other stuff too, which is really, really cool. So what we're going to do is we're really quickly going to take this off because I've already showed you that now and you guys are pretty much going to be using it. But I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do like really like a lot of air uh, movement speed whilst you're away from your computer. So basically, so from here, right? We're going to go and uh, we're going to go all the way down this huge kind of a uh, hill or kind of like road, I guess. And what we're going to do is jump on top of this building right here. Now, obviously, you guys are going to have to jump on the windows to get up here. Or if you have super jump, then just jump up here or fly up here. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do. But what we're going to do is we are going to go over to this thing right here. And as you can see, we can actually walk up it and climb up it, right? And you can see right now, I'm not moving at all, but because the game thinks that you're actually moving and it's glitched your person into the water tank, you can actually see my movement speed is actually going right now. It's actually gaining movement speed. But to get even more movement speed, we're going to click on the weights right here, click four and then click a hundred ton. And then you should actually see that my movement speed is actually going 160 every second. Yeah, it's seriously going that fast. Without me even touching anything. Look, I haven't even got my hand on my keyboard right now. So basically, let's say for example, your mom calls you down for some food or something like that. All you have to do is do this, leave your character there, and assuming that nobody kills you, because everyone freaking kills you on this game constantly. They're all mean. Like, if nobody kills you, then you're absolutely fine to just do exactly whatever you want. You can literally just stand here all day 
farming how much movement speed you got. And uh, obviously, you know, if you if you buy all of these things too, like that's an added bonus right there. But you can see my movement speed is going up without me even touching my computer. Like honestly, look how quick that's going up. That's going up near enough 200 every two seconds. I'd say it's like, yeah, near, near enough 200, 300 every two, every two seconds. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Now, I also have a couple of other things to show you guys. Some things that you might not already know about because I know sometimes uh, people don't really think too much about like, uh, well, oh god, okay, I'm flying now. Okay, there you go. So, um, as well as that, I actually found a way on how to maximize how much psychic powers you earn. So, um, if you guys don't already know about it, when you actually learn to fly, when you have psychic power, you're actually able to get 80 psychic power whilst you're flying. So, for example, look. I'm literally, like, if I was, if I wasn't flying right now, I would only be getting, let's see, how much do I normally get? Let me see. If I just sit down, I would normally get eight psychic power a second, right? Which is really poopy. But one of my friends actually found this out where if you tap one and three really quickly, like that. So as you can see, I'm kind of just tapping one and three on my keyboard. And then I'm going to tap... Let's see, wait there. No, one and three, one and three, one and three, one and three. There you go. And then three. There you go. As you can see, my psychic power is going up like crazy, right? But as well as that, you can actually do the one where you're like flying in midair. So let's see if I can actually do that. Let me see if I can try and do this. Let's see. There you go. And there you go. Look how much, I look how much psychic power I'm getting. Look at all of that. That is an insane amount of psychic power right now. That is absolutely insane how much I'm getting. That is incredible. That is seriously incredible right now. And as well as that, if you want to, what you can actually do is you can actually fly to this area that I was talking about earlier, guys. You can actually go inside of here, right? And you can literally just sit above this fire right here and also get body toughness at the exact same time. So you're not only getting all of this psychic power, you're also getting the body toughness, which I think body toughness actually makes you stronger as in like you can survive like the heat and everything and once you get like a crazy amount of body toughness what you can actually do is then go and um i think what can you do after body toughness you can go to the to the volcano and then the icicle area and then you can build up your body toughness there for like i think it's like a thousand or something like that so it's like even more you're gaining even more so that's absolutely insane but guys please comment down below what you would actually like me to cover on this video like would you like me to do more videos on this because seriously i do have a way of finding glitches in everything and i am probably one of the strongest people like in the in like the main servers that i go to like seriously i am always like one of the uh, one of the strongest people in here and oh my god i i didn't even realize i've got so many daily quests that i haven't even claimed yet wait there a second let me just claim these wait there done done Okay, so I've already claimed those, but I still need to get all of these ones. Okay, that's pretty cool. But I can now buy, like, another one of these, right? No, that's... Ah, so they're all a thousand now, but I'm not very far off. So I'm gonna eventually have, like, a thousand to actually spend on my things and then gain even more superpowers seriously so quick on this game like honestly uh, but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please do not forget to leave a like and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe i'm actually going to be doing a couple of robux giveaways in the future and um, i think my next one is going to be in around about a week's time so please feel free to subscribe turn on the notification bell and then there'll be a video on my youtube channel eventually kind of discussing when i'm going to do that giveaway so keep an eye out on my videos guys and uh, yeah, I guess just have a really awesome day. Thank you very much for watching this video, by the way. And also, tell me in the comment section below right now what games I should try on Roblox and also what videos you would love to see on Pet Simulator and also this game right here because I have a load of ideas, but I would also love to know what you guys would love to see on those games too. Um, other than that, guys, have a really awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya. Also, before I go, guys, I would like to just say a huge thank you to my friend Soof, Raidkill, and also Robosloth Gaming for actually finding most of the glitches that I actually put into today's video. I actually forgot to say that whilst I was re recording, so, you know, I didn't actually want to go without saying thank you guys very much. You guys are awesome, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find a load more glitches inside this game for all of you guys to actually use. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, have an awesome, awesome day. Okay.